All right, after I posted this uh, theater room build last week, people asked me for a bit of a walkthrough. So here we go. And we've got lights in that room. We've got dimmable lights around the outside there. These ones might be hard to see, but we have the step light there. And there's another one under here as well that we put in. All right. And this one, which is around the trim, it's hard to see, but I'm just going up and down with it. Then there's our wall sconces and the Starfield ceiling. So basically, I've got bit of a stage area back here platform and there's this stage over here of course it's hard to see but so the stage is uh, done up on a two by six with uh, some plywood on the top and the other step here is just a two by four step and as you can see we've got the we did the library at the back of the theater room and we have the bookcase door which was one of the big things that people seem to to like that's all connected up with the candlestick that releases the door um, I've got my office back behind there and uh, we have posters on the wall and I actually wanted to do a poster on the wall with a pair of eyes that you could remove so I could look into the theater room from my office but yeah, my wife said no. She said the door was enough. <laughs> so that was the end of that idea. Uh, next time. Yeah, absolutely. The next time. I'm not even going to tell her. I'm just going to do it. So the Starfield ceiling is done with suede, with a fake suede, which is a really nice material. Uh, it really disappears in the dark when once the lights go out, it, it's like literally it's you can't tell how far away these lights are. It's really, really cool. Um, put lights around up in there as well just some rope lights some regular rope lights there's a box we boxed up in here for a screen and there's a plug at the back there um, that's for a 110 inch screen the wallpaper disappears once the lights go down um, would like to put lights behind the TV you know it's 55 inch TV set it's big enough for the distance we're at here um, the stereo equipment we haven't upgraded yet. What I did do though is I put in for my projector so it's boxed in and I had to angle this so that it uh, wouldn't throw light and I put a small box up there so that the projector will sit really tight against the ceiling and the HDMI cable goes to behind the stereo equipment there. Inside here is where I put the it's just an access panel for the actual fiber optic lighting. You can sort of see in there, right? And also for the rope lights. So it's a fairly simple system. Sorry, it's going all kind of wonky there. So that's basically that. So it's, you know, accessible if you need to get at it. And it's just, it's plugged into a regular, regular plug box there, right? And uh, yeah, then these are just an insulation up inside the baffles there. So these are just a, a material and I and on a frame, and they're just uh, they're just pin nailed to hold them in place. So if I have to bring them down, I can. So it's wired for 11.2 surround sound. So that's why I've got the the plugs up the top there, as well as I've got. At the back, I've got a set low, one on either, one on either side here, and then of course up here for the highs, and they're not hooked up yet either. And uh, there's a whole bunch underneath the, underneath the the stereo uh, housing or the stereo cabinet, which is going to get a lower, smaller stereo cabinet eventually at some point. So that's basically the theater room. That uh, with a bit of a walkthrough as to what you know what uh, what it is now that it's finished. Thanks.